manage all that and 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 kind of be a deal maker. Yeah, it's, it's, it's our generation, man. Was a little, I don't know, man. It's just, I think we was sharper than the generations that's being dumbed down now. From you know, for whatever reason, I think it all got to do with global warming, the return of consciousness, and they're trying to fight against God because people fell in love with the creations, but they forgetting about the creator. And we own the thought of that. And we didn't do it to be bragging. I know I didn't do it to be bragging and be stunting the front. It was what it was. Eat, and this is what was the next thing popping, let's go. But we ain't gonna be talking no, no shit that we ain't doing. We gonna talk what we do. Yes, sir. And it all started from the location 132, man. After the death of Rich, after I got shot up, you know what I mean? We got to do something to get up out of this shit. And that's when we start kicking that mob style shit. Do freedom of speech. And all that kind of stuff, which is respect. Yeah, we, all those things. The consciousness come, man. I think we live, we, we grow into it. It's like, all right, everybody the Calico. You say, hold up, this is it. Then you start thinking and you become a butterfly. Now that's the consciousness. And once you become a butterfly, you really can't hang with the caterpillar thing. Because you're flying, you know, you you going, you heading toward the sun, you're getting higher and higher. But uh I love to reach back and share, or oh, anytime I spit, you see me on documentaries or anything, I'm trying my best to like like inform and let people know, like, yo, look, brother, come here now, that's over. Look, where's it at? You can't gather in the street with four or five peoples no more. Back then, we had cheese lines wrapped around the block, man. Selling drugs like it was all right. Cars lined up, all type of joints getting washed. Police riding by me, not saying nothing. You might even meet a cop somewhere later on and put something in his pocket because it was a part of what it was supposed to be back then once you do the knowledge and realize the government was involved, all this shit was a plan to fight a war. And then once it came to an end, you know they're coming, so why would you keep playing? Not less. But I'm going to try to keep the balance and be talking to the higher powers at the same time because this is what it is. But y'all created what it was due to circumstances. So, are we guilty? That's the question that you gotta ask yourself. We try to control and keep the crowd tame, but we need gas in our car. Y'all keep taking the gas out of the car so we can't move, man. We represent the truth, and you and you sending these kids into the funny papers. It's like the real streets, and you got Sesame Street. You know what I mean? So I'm not trying to bark because I'm not with that man no more. I'm 50 and I'm at peace and I see it, but I hope people can really take the information and bring forth a resurrection in their mind. It's right, right, it's right now in this rap game, look at it like this. You got two cats battle. I ain't gonna say their name, but you, you should be able to know, right? Who I'm talking about. And you got this TV show, you got power and you got empire. One of them could play on empire, and the other one could play on power. So that's the difference right there. But when you read the Bible, if you're seeking the true winner, it says, and the meek shall inherit the earth. I'm not saying no names. You put it together <laughs> and analyze it. But it's happening, bro. The truth is real. Okay. Uh, oh. When you first started out, like, what are, what are your fondest memories? In the game or hip hop? Yeah, both. And this memory, being honest, what made me want to play the game, was seeing my man Rich, LA, pulling up 14 and 15 years old in brand new fucking European joints, rimmed out, with all the chicks chasing them. Like, what's up, my brother? That was amazing to me, man. Like. We didn't even have sneakers. A bicycle, where the fuck y'all get this from? And that's 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 what changed the thought. And then going to the movie, seeing Scarface, running into a connect, it put me in a position to make me blow up overnight, man. And um, 
that's what made me want to do that. And hip hop was always like, you know, I got skills, I'm nice, dog, I'm nice. And I think it was a song by uh, Fuji Rap called Rackers Out. Put your money where your mouth is, let's go to the studio, let's try it. What we were supposed to be on, and they reneged at the at the signing for whatever reason. But um, how are but you the so streets, ahead of But the streets still respect that. They they use that to like, this is real, and all the rest of that shit is memorized. As if it's not real, but that's that's where they got all the. I'm not saying that you know everybody' life is real, but just like in the game. When we was young, we seen the Nicky Barnes's, the Bat Rosses. We took it, took it to another level. Everything, you know what I mean? The streets still talks, brother. They was doing what we was doing. We was doing a whole nother different thing. We was like three hours ahead of time. Real facts. We already made it through the gang shit. We was riding spaceships and getting money and gators and we on a whole nother level, man. Throwing money up in the air, making sure our women had the best of best and putting them in cars, furs, diamonds. That's what it was. It was all some, this shit was like Egypt, my nigga. And if you wasn't in the pyramids, you wasn't down. It was simple as that, man. And Rich with the capstone of the pyramid. So when they knocked off Rich, that was Rich, it was like taking the nose off the Sphinx, man, and everything became fucked up, man. Feel me? That's real talk. But the blueprints, anytime you're looking for some facts, go grab some marsh down shit, my nigga. We ain't lying here. We ain't, we ain't, we ain't doing this for, for, from the money. We coming heart to mind, brother. Heart to mind, brother. It is what it is. Yeah. But it's so far from what it's supposed to be. Yeah. But we love it all, man. Everybody want to be tough. Nah, nah, don't disrespect me, whatever, whatever. But. When you follow the bad shepherds, you on your own. You follow the good shepherds, God got you, bro. So you 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 have to make a difference. You know what I mean, it's, it's day and night. It's on and off. It's up and down. It's gold or silver. It's two different directions. You feel me? And don't ever let money pull you against what is and living what's not. And that's what they're using. The money illusion. There are all these songs. I got you don't, so it makes you feel fucked up. I'm rich, you poor. Ah. None of these songs is singing man to woman, love, woman to man. It's all, uh, you know, it's fucked up. So if you stay in that, you live That's in your ignorance. frequency. You live, yeah, it's low. It's, it's elves. You're following Satan. You're following elves. It's electronical low frequencies when you should be living on high. So if you stay in that shit, it's like you're living in death, bro. You try to satisfy the flesh, but could never be satisfied. Why do you, you say that? To, it could never be satisfied. Flesh is dead. It's, 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 constant. it's the coffin to the spirit. You have to pull yourself out of that and become one with the spirit. And then you can see everybody going crazy over the money. And you will always be able to tell them something to uplift them. Because it's happening now, bro. It's and, and, happening. And I think that's like your genius because it's not you've had. You probably are one of the most wealthiest people that New York saw. See, God gave it to us early, I think. That's what. That's the question. Early, that I'm, this, I think the documentary early, is about that. Like early, so that we so can, young. so that we can see and teach the way. Gave it to us early. It gave it to us for real. And we was controlling some 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 major shit, man. 16, 17 years old. And come on, man. And I think someone saw that and said, "Wow, we gotta kill these niggas." Feel so, me? It's deeper than the government. It's deeper than the streets. It's deeper than the game. It's really dealing with evil spirits and good spirits, man. You know what I mean? People not even protecting their bodies. Drugs and all that. Evil spirits jump in there. Say, for instance, he got you and it don't got me. And you my man. I love you to death, my nigga. Mm -hmm. But you rolling with Lucifer and I see it. But you can't hear me. He jumped in your body because he already got you. He trying to get me, so I can't fuck with you right now, my nigga. 
because you're still a caterpillar running around in the dirt when I'm trying to show you spread your wings and become a butterfly. And they give it the caterpillars the money now to destroy the butterflies. So that's what we have, bro. You know what I mean? Oh, tell me about your upbringing. Like your fam, you know, brothers, sisters. But sisters, everybody, it, you know, it's it just like we family. But the game made me like this. My sister is older than me. But the game and the position I played in the game made me the big brother. <laughs> you know what I mean? My mother would even listen to me, you know. That's why I think this shit was all written, bro. I, I really can't explain it, but I could. But after the death of Rich Porter and his little brother, location 132, three days after the funeral, how do a big rainbow come over the block? How, man, if this is not biblical? How? Oh, this is written, man. Every rapper, you watch these documentaries, every rapper that talks about the street compare their lives or consume or spit one of our names, Rich Porter, AZ, or Alpha. More so Rich now because I think people beginning to see who made and what it was and how. Because after the death of Rich Porter, it seemed like the lights went out this morning. It's a TV show called The Have and Have Nots, right? I was watching the episode one day, and I think they said the most powerful shit on that TV show that I've ever heard. The woman, I think she had one of the richest men kidnapped. And he was, and, and she was, she was asking for some money and shit, right? She was asking him for, for a couple of million dollars. And he basically explained to her that, no, listen, I can't give you a million dollars. If I wanted to give you a million dollars, it would cost me three million dollars to give you a million dollars. You understand? And this is the separation. He said, people like you don't know what to do with money. So we can't give you money. And it would cost me money to give you money and then it would basically register on my account that I gave you. Right? And you were going through Harlem, like, what was Harlem like? Like, how, how, how did you, like, when you were the kings of Harlem, and you driving around, and you know, you're, you know, it's like... It felt like we were the chariots and we were in Egypt, bro. And whoever Check was in. the man was the pharaoh, and whoever was the lady was being back. <laughs> That's what it felt like, bro. But, we was in a race, we didn't know we was in a race to be the boss in the land of the lost, and whoever sat in that seat was gonna be the throne. Because everybody wanted that seat. Because they're not satisfied. Nah, but I was in that seat one time and got shot in the head twice, and when I came back, I refused to sit in there again. I try to warn people, don't fuck with that chair, bro. There's no code. That Tony Montana chair? Nah, that one that he sat in? I don't fuck with that. That's, that's real. You know, but a lot of fools are acting like they in those chairs, but they know that's not it because it's a part of genocide. I yeah. got a plan, man. I got a plan to feed the whole world if they listen to me. What is that plan? I can't give it up. It's, it's, I got you. I it's your plan. It but, but, I know it, it, it can save it and help the world, bro. Uh, real, yeah. Real. I, um, you were saying how um, the, the consciousness is being raised. Uh, what, what do you... You know, like in this age of technology, and you see all of these innovations. Like, what what piques your interest? Like, what what are you reading? Like, what are your influences now? There's a book called What is the name of the book? Uh, the Master Key. It's about energy and the power of thought. And to me, that's everything. Once you know how to think. You change your thoughts, you can change your life. You have to raise your consciousness to be one with the laws of the universe and come up out of the laws of man because man laws is out the key. Because you if become you one with the with the be in the world, but not of the world. Like I said, flesh can't be satisfied. So if you push back your flesh and become one with your spirit, now you alive because you were just dead. And you have compassion. Yes, sir. You have you know what it is, man. You understand, and you're in God your forgive instinct. them, they know not what they do. You understand all those quotes now, it, it begins to make sense. 
When you wilding out, you can't, you can't, you can't see, man. You go where the wind blows. Your mind is just going. You have to stop. Hold up. This ain't it. And resurrect yourself. Put yourself on probation before you be put on probation. That's how I think. It was what it was. It's over now. It's over now. And I want to give one more shout out, man. After seeing the movie, uh, with Stay Out of Compton, Easy E. I want to say rest in peace to Easy I respect Easy E. More so now, I understand his heart and I understand his thought process now more than then. And I want to apologize for what I said on the song back then, Do Mob Style. Love and respect to Easy E, man. Rise in peace. Love you. I know you hear me, bro. And it's real, man. That, that consciousness, when did that come uh, come to you? Because I think, I think, uh, at least personally, I, I've, I've been through so much, you know, and then once you go through that, then I think you get a different kind of wisdom that it's all really an energy. We're supposed, we supposed to be where we're supposed to be. Musical influences. Who are your favorite musicians and, and, and groups? My favorite musicians, musicians, musically, I love Pearl Jam. Because I feel the lead of him can see. We can hear it in his music. Peter Gabriel, definitely could see. You hear it in his music. Phil Collins. Uh, Sinead O'Connor. All these people can see. So when you listen to their music, you're alive. and It's not dead music. Like, you know, this music just comes and goes. This shit, party, this bug out. I mean, you could go party with that, but don't. Bring that shit to your house. You feel me? So, it's like Marvin Gaye album. Let me try to use that. The What's Going On album. You love that album. And who don't? It's alive still. It still makes sense to this very day. Compared to any of this music that been coming out. You put that on, it makes sense because it's the truth. This was done by God. You feel me? It's a, you can feel the difference of certain musics. Conscious music like Rock Kim, it still makes sense today. You understand that? The other shit is like, so what? This music today is like, I got you know, I'm fucking him, her, whoever, whatever. La 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 la. I got money, you don't, you broke. That's not music, bro. You gonna always need a bodyguard with that type of music, cause it's causing problems. Other music. Ah, it's like fresh air and shit. Like, wow. You feel me? Yeah. You supposed to take this story back to your country, tell the truth. You take it back to your country, tell me. Back then, who I was, like I said earlier, I believe, I didn't meet someone that was getting it from someone. I met someone that was direct and shit. And, and I think. From growing up in the cleanest, listening to what happened to this one, that one, that one, the older dudes, it made me say, mm, I'm going to do something a little different. I'm going to try to stay off the radar, be low, and make it happen and shit, and make sure that everybody eat. Understand? That was my whole philosophy. Everybody eat. Nobody ain't got no reason to be for nobody and shit. Because if we all get money, it's all good. You know what I mean? So... And make sure the connect was paid. So it's like I had this energy bowl and shit. I don't know what you know what that shit is. You go in. If you grab it, it stops. So if we don't claim it to me, it keeps feeding. Mm, take some. Mm. You don't claim it. Once you grab it, see it's mine, that's when the game is over, fam. And I was in control of it, connecting it to me. Throw it in the bowl. Yo, you take it, take it, take it. Just, yo, here, here's your money. You know what I mean? Let's let it. But when someone come in, yo, I'm the man. And you shoot the man that's controlling it all, which was me at that time. That was nasty, bro. And that's when it all started crumbling to us, bro. Because the connect, he giving it to me. He don't want to give it to me. Hey, yo, hey. They don't want to meet. This one, he too wild. It's, hey, he got the whole hall of like, and you know what I mean, so it's like knowing that, 
But not knowing that, it everything comes from, from just being good, bro. Just being good, bro. There's more power to me in peace than there is in violence, man. And it's something divine that will protect you. There's no way I should be here, bro. There's no way I should be here right now on these cameras talking to you about this, bro. If it ain't God. I took two in the head, bro. Point blank range. My spirit left. I'm gone. I'm watching them shoot up the body. How am I still here? Come back, write a movie, The Whole Hood Love, a book, many documentaries trying to tell the same story, but people are not getting it because they're looking for the things that they fell in love with, which is the creations, the cars, the women, and fell out of love with the creator. That's what I'm trying to bring them back to. Feel me? That's real. First Marv Style track was Marv Style. The song Marv Style. I wrote that shit. My intentions, like I said, was for my man Whip Rock to do it. But I did it in the studio first. And then I gave it to my man that worked for BLS. And he played the shit on the radio. And he was like, yo, we gotta do an album. And that was the very first Marv Style track. That's how that came about. Um. And it wasn't... It was just the, the song was called Marv Style. But the group was called The Good, The Bad, The Ugly. So when we put out the album, you know, the title of the album was supposed to be Marv Style by The Good, The Bad, The Ugly, but people started calling us Marv Style. So he said, fuck it, because that's what they named us, and the album was The Good, The Bad, The Ugly. You feel me? And that's how that happened, bro. Real talk. What was it like in the studio? It was real. It was real, man. It was... Are you like a one take uh, guy, or you like to to let it marinate? You like to hear cats? What it, what it was? We'll we'll have the we'll be maybe home listen to some old records in Lou House because Marv had a lot of old records and shit. So we be playing that shit. You know that that should sound that should sound drug related right there. You know what I mean? That should sound like it, it's drug. You know what I mean? It sounds street and shit. So we had, we had us come up with a hook. Yo, what? Right then, yo, that gangster shit. What? Yo, kick. And Lou will start spitting, tell him stuff. All right, that's, that's what we're going to the studio tomorrow. I'll lay that down. And we do it. Hear another track. Boom. I play rough, rough. We just do it, man. We just did it off of where we was at in time. Come from your heart. That shit don't sound solid. He going to check me. In, you know what I mean? Check him. That's it. That's it. And we get it done. Let's put it out there. Keep it real. That was our whole shit. Keep it real. Tell the truth, man. No front. Um, what would you say to these young kids? I know you, you just went and said the code and all that. Well, what would you say to these kids as like a process steps, like one to ten to get their life together? The first thing is to, 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 to seek self. Like I always say, bro. you got to seek self. Have to seek self. You know what I mean? And that's that was a big part of me, like really waking up and understanding that oh, it's the invisible power that runs this shit, not what we see. You know what I mean? And uh, once you find yourself, uh, you, you realize that's all you was ever looking for and shit. Man. You know what I mean? You gonna take off the decorations and all that. Now you gonna seek things that you like, that you appreciate. You ain't just gonna buy that watch because he got a watch. You're gonna go and say, you know what I mean? I like this. It's, you know what I mean? You start searching for me. I, you, know, you know what I mean? Instead of trying to be like, you go. But then people peep your style, then they, then they speak it to you and not that mask or that costume you wear and shit. You understand? So that's, that's what it's all about. Once you find yourself, then you know exactly who's lost. And who's found? You know what I mean? So you, you try to stay away from the people that's lost, man. Like, but you know that's trouble. That's trouble, right? There. Those people don't know what they're doing. It's just, they don't know where they're going. They might have a whole bunch, but it ain't right. You can feel it different. Bro. That's that's my philosophy. Who 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 is your like favorite rapper? Where you just like driving around, you know, just starting like. My, my, the first person that I liked 
that was rapping the first. The first. Uh, you he know, was Rakim. He every, was everybody, Rakim. Rakim was the man. But everybody loved Rapper's Delight when it came out. Because that was like, oh, shit. But then, it, you know, when you get it, to, after the years changed, the streets become rougher, the raps became rougher, the shit became more real. So you're respecting the realest shit, the shit that you can relate to, the shit you can touch. And to me, uh, it was Rakim and Coogee Rap. You feel me? Streets of New York, Road to the Riches. Then you hear Rakim, you know what I mean, move the crowd. You know, uh, the microphone fiend, it, it made sense. Even the KRS ones. You know what I mean? Yeah. And as the streets get realer, then you, you, then, you know, we came out with a whole number of, like some gangster shit, some get money hustling shit. And our video wasn't, we didn't put props in it. You came to Hunt 32nd, that's what it was, every day, all day. You get what I mean? So it wasn't really rap. We was just in the studio popping shit. Like, fuck it. You know what I mean? We wasn't trying to make money off him. We didn't know what it was. We was just saying, nigga. Without saying it, like, nigga, this is what we doing. Fuck out of here. We, my Adidas, get out of here, nigga. Driving best. That was our way and shit. You know what I mean? No disrespect to them dudes. But Marv style is not rap, fam. It was, it was what it was. And it's still what it was back then. We're not trying to say we're doing it now. It had a time. It had its time. It eclipsed. You feel me? And, and, and that's why it can't be repeated because it's, it's, it's real. Bro. Street code. The street code? Yep. Street code, uh, basically, respect each other. You know, everybody got bosses and certain places in the hood, you know, respect a number G's girl, you know the difference from the wife and the girls, but a man wife should always be respected. I believe that one of the codes is never to talk to the police, and it should be never to kill the police, because once you kill a cop, that's a reason to come kill you, or that's when the whole shit just becomes ugly. And, um, certain things you know not to do. Uh, stay on point. Don't serve anybody if you sell drugs and shit. You know, greed is always going to get you in trouble. All money ain't good money. And uh, if you're doing it, Try not to let it be known that you're doing it. You feel me? Stay off the radar. Uh, if you're a boss, man, act like you're not, man. And, and, and that's it, that's all, man. You know, I'd rather if I know who I am, I don't have to prove that to nobody. Shit. So the one with all the jury, the chains, and acting like he Willy Wonka in the chocolate farm, in the chocolate factory, you don't even own a candy bar, bro. So you gotta be able to see through the deception, all that shining gold, bro. You know what I mean? And be quiet, man. Be quiet, man. Don't, don't. This is. I don't want to curse, but I'm a curse. This was our philosophy with the now little click. This was real niggas don't suck dick, man. They get their dick sucked. And that's how we used to move. So we ain't sweat nobody, bro. So when we don't sweat nobody, niggas gotta respect them. Connect respect. Because you telling them, like, yo, look, we got control of this shit. You gonna give us this for this, this price or, or beat it? You know what I mean? But we, you make it where. You know, just as well as, you know, he got to eat, he, we got to eat, and everybody got to eat, man. So if we break it down evenly and respectfully, everybody win, man. And nobody got to be, nobody suck, and ain't got to be none of that bullshit. To me, the streets lost all that. None of those codes exist. Anything goes now. You know what I mean? 
And uh, it's just, you played it at your own risk now. Cameras everywhere, you see, every, everything that happens, when someone robs somebody or somebody do something, you see it right on, the, on TV within the next second. Cameras everywhere. The game is over, bro. It's common sense. If you get money and you acting like it like that in the streets to me today, if you acting like it is, believe me, you got a badge. You got a badge, man. You one of them deep cover ass niggas, man. That's how I see it, bro. So today you really got to be more, 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 more careful. Because they in portraying these little gangs now and shit. Acting like they the big homie, but the other big homie is coaching that gang, and the other big homie is coaching that gang, but this is the government coaching y'all into an ambush. To put you in prison because prison is big, big business today. Every year you give them, that's like 60000 to whoever owned the prison. I think they just locked up a judge when they busted because one of the people that owned the prison was giving them some payola under the table, like, yo, send me a hundred more niggas and shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, like the mob and shit. That's how deep and nasty this world has become through corruption, bro. So who's the bad guy here? Nobody. Everybody trying to survive the best way they can under the law of justice, which means just us and we're frozen in time. Until we come up out of that ice and become one with God again, we living in doomsday. Anything's liable to happen. What was the first model? So, so A, hey, there's been tons of times where you went through crazy situations like you got shot up. Every time you came out of those situations, like what, where was your head out when you came out of these situations? Like what? Uh, every time, brother, God, God, God would seem like he was just bringing me closer and closer to his inner standing. I had to inner stand this. And then once I started listening to my inside and not my outside, then I understood. Who was God? And then I try to avoid people from getting into those cycle like, circumstances that you can see now. If you don't do this, brother, this is what's going to happen. So, you know, each situation, because I've been in a lot of situations, man. And the situations I didn't deserve to be in, I was just being good. Yeah. But what I realized was we are in spiritual warfare, flesh, you know, in high places. So, if the devil is after me, because God got a mission for me, he's going to jump in other bodies, and it's deeper than the game. Fuck the game, the devil know he's going to be somebody that's going to be able to tell on the devil, and expose the devil. He's going to kill the devil. So, if you're not in your God head and God on your God consciousness. He could take your body because he got you now, but he don't want you because you ain't nobody. If he already got you, I'm after the one that we have to silence. And that's to me, these are the dudes that shocked me. But they don't even know this. But I forgive them because they don't know. But it's, it's evidence now and it's proof now that it's real. Because it's connecting all the dots. You know what I mean? We was building on. I could go some places be that'll blow people's mind. But we'll be here, you know what I mean? We're gonna come back to, <laughs> to the end of time, but uh it's perfect. But but it's not just not just hold on, not just these dudes, but girls. I've been stabbed, I've been all type of shit right before. Be flipped over in the car. You know what I mean? Music industry, what do you mean? Yeah, in the music, like when L used to come around. Oh, LL. LL used to come around with my man Chuck. You know, L's was LL at the time, and he was coming up, so Chuck might let him put on a medallion in the picture, stuck by one of the cars and all that shit. You know, but L's was, he wasn't involved with, with this. He was more like, yo, I can't be around y'all niggas like that because it's not good for an image, and we respected that. I remember one day he was at the Apollo, 
And he was there. We came and said, he was like, nah, man, come on, I got to go. I got to Because he can't be seen with us. So we respected that. And we didn't force him. You understand? So I guess he was keeping it with images and who he is today is who he became. You see what the fuck happened to us? So, you know what I mean? So elders around. You even had a lot of cats. Even, uh, what's his name? This Teddy Riley grew up around the hood. You know, oh well, Teddy didn't ask for some work at one time. I'm like, come on, dog, you got a hot song out there. Stay with that shit. Do that. Don't even think about this shit. You need some paper? Here. But yo, we, we do you. You feel me? Teddy went on to make songs for Michael Jackson. Blah, blah, blah. So it wasn't like back then, nigga wasn't trying to pull you in. Yo, Elf, take this work. Yo, Teddy, work. You know what I mean? It wasn't about that dumb shit, man. We, we, we was more like, yo, if you need something, we got you. Don't, don't play with this. Yo, Shorty, why you ain't in school? The fuck wrong with you? Why you do? We wasn't like, yo, recruiting these young niggas. Like, yo, we wasn't moving like that, fam. It wasn't like that, man. We uh, was doing it so that they couldn't do it. But they fell in love with it. Now they want to do it. But today, it's more hustlers than there's customers. So what sense does it make? Back then, we used to tell the customers, yo, get up the block, wait across the street, man, get back. What the fuck is wrong with you? Now they out here watching like they looking for a tennis match, looking for the customer. Then when one comes, they all run to it. Now the police say, oh, fell into a lock them. It's ignorant now, bro. Rich was a, a magnetic person, huh? Yeah, Rich was the spirit. Of, he was the, 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 the straw, the, the straw of the drink. And I think that this came from him in L.A. being the first ones from our generation to step in the game. You feel me? From our generation in Harlem, L.A. was the first young dude, 16, I think he might have been 14, and bought a brand new saw. Nobody knew what the fuck was a saw was, and piping on the seats with rims for the loud system. All the chicks running, what the fuck? So everybody wanted to be like L.A. First kid I seen in the streets, you know, with an illegal dirt bike. Eh, eh, eh. Police chasing him. Rich bust out with a BMW. Back then. So every kid in their mind said, oh shit, I'm working in the cleaners. You feel me? This is how I meet the connect and the next thing you know, I'm in the game. I didn't, I didn't choose, the game chose me. You feel me? And then I became who I became overnight. Trying to get rid of it quick. I lowered the prices, but that shit just made whoosh, motherfuckers start coming from all over. Yo! And the cleanest owner, he fined me because I was stashing the drugs in there. He fired me, so that made, you know, it more easy for me to do it because the customers used to come to the window, the cleaners, waving and shit. And I gotta act like I'm going to get, get something from the store. So him and the cleaners, he peeped that eventually. And that made him start searching when he found it. Like, nigga, I can't have this shit in my store. The fuck wrong with you? So I made the choice, like, you know what I mean? Did, did your mom know it? My mom found out, cause I used to stash my shit at my man Stan house. And one day, uh, she found the drugs at Stan house and she flushed the shit down the toilet. So Stan came and told me, like, yo, man, it was maybe like about two or three thousand dollars worth of shit back then. So me and him were about to get into a fight. We all, oh, man, fuck that. Your mother gonna pay for my shit. I don't give a fuck. So yeah, his mom told my moms. And that's when she was like, boys. Then eventually, you know how the game go, bro. Yo, how much is the rent? I ain't got it. Pay for it. Now, she's protecting you in it. You feel me? You know how this shit go. You know how it go. They she call you, hey, my girlfriend want to. And it became, man. It just was the way. <laughs> Every who wasn't involved in the 80s. After. You know what I mean? When crack hit, did I tell y'all this before? When crack hit, when you got busted for crack, they let you out because it came back as bacon soda. You didn't catch a case for about six months or eight months. And then 
it was too late because everybody was selling dope and this said, fuck that, I'm selling crack, you can't go to jail for this shit? And that's when crack took off. Then when they found out, they said, oh, it was Coke instead of baking soda. Then they started making laws for it. But it was already exploded then because everybody was like, fuck that, you can't go to jail for it. And that's how crack became big to me. What's it called? You on my block with a chick somewhere, the movie. You know what I mean? Gambling. You know, I wasn't with that party stuff, drinking and all that stupidity to me. You know what I mean? Don't get me wrong, man. I'm not knocking what others do, man. Some people like to be around that shit. But I can't be around the people, a lot of people that's dress up to to show off and shit. I got this, I got that, look what I got, and that, and that. And all those girls that was at that party would come to me and be like, oh yeah, da, 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 telling me what went on, and they basically come tell me, get a few dollars so they could get a dress to go to the next event. You know, it, it's like, it's, it's, it's cheesy. But I, it's not cheesy, but I guess it's what people do. They need somewhere to gather to show off what they got and what's going on. You know what I mean? Oh. I never was like that. Oh, I like that joint. Get that joint. Well, I was into jury too. I might buy a meme or die in or something. You know, I said that's all, bro. Um, do you remember any of these guys like Bumpy Johnson, Frank Lucas, Nicky Barnes? I was I was too young to remember them, but I heard stories about Bumpy through this old dude that was Bumpy main man named Chisholm and shit. And he used to come in the cleaners every morning. Matter of fact, he used to be something like Bumpy was in those days for this woman named Miss Harriet, who had a number spot. So he used to be the bodyguard for her. And Chisholm was, he's still living, old man Chiz, man. Chisholm, was, he, was a, he, was a, he was a gangster, man. He, he once told me a story how um, Lucky Luciano, Lucky had stepped to the Bumpy or some shit. And uh, something went on. He told Bumpy, he told Lucky to suck his dick or some shit like that. And then Lucky told Bumpy, you got a good man. He said he took off his pinky ring and gave it to him. He said, yo, Lucky, remember this. You told you the only one that's going to be living that told Lucky to suck your dick. And he showed me the ring. It was a platinum ring and shit. You know what I mean? So he said, you know, back then, you couldn't come past 110th Street Hollow without talking to, to Bumpy Johnson. You understand? And uh, he used to tell me all these stories, man. He said after Bumpy died, that's when the heroin and the drugs and shit came into the hood. It wasn't there before because Bumpy wasn't having that shit. Bumpy said, okay, we could do the number thing, but that drugs, I'm not having that fucking up my people. So it was a, you feel me? And if Bumpy knew that you were selling drugs, like, you know what I mean? If it would, he, would, he would step to you like, yo, he was a gangster. Bumpy was like a good gangster. You know what I mean? I don't think he was into selling drugs. According to what Chisholm told me. I don't know, because I don't know. But looking at his stories and the, the movies and the shit, I could see it, because he's never dealing with drugs. He's just dealing with these dudes on the number level, the madams and shit like that. So uh, the Nicky Barnes is in, I think the Frank Lucas is in them. That, when the heroin and all that came in. And I think all that shit came through war once you watch the stories and you read the stories and shit. You know what I mean? Break down the drug game to me. In which way? Like, with me, like... Just like from a business standpoint and draw parallels. Alright. Business point of view. What? You get the drugs from the connect. You give you a price. You set your price on what you want to make off of it. You give it to who you going to give it to where they could make their money off of it and pay who they need to pay to make it do what it do so nobody gets fucked up. And if it go like that smoothly, you go. Like I said, greed fucks everything up. And the one that claimed, the one to be the man, fucks it all up just as well. But I really believe now, today, the game is over. It's over. It's over. It's finished. It's done. Why? Because it's being... The money 
if not used, they're not giving the money to people on welfare no more. And the people on welfare usually was the ones that's buying drugs. So the money's not there no more. You, you understand what I mean? And it, it's done. It's done. You don't see people on the corner hustling like that no more. It, it's over, man. So if you, you see it in videos, more so than you see it on the streets because it's an act now. It's an act now. And it, it's not wrong with putting on the act. I'd rather for you to put on the act but to, to, to do it. But now, in that, they just got to stop the beef and in that and kill them one another. You understand? Because it's just words, man. Sticks and stones break my bones, but words can never harm me and shit. But the game is being, the rap game, which they created for them to eat, is being took from them. You feel me? So now the powers that be, they up here and they forcing the real rappers into battle rap. So now they're in the lion's den. Mm -hmm. you, you can see the differences. When they should be the ones, you understand? It's, it's like cruci it's a crucifixion of rap. You get it? It's different levels. Mm -hmm. And those dudes, you can hear more skillful shit coming out of the battle raps than on these songs. You know what I mean? So that's how I see it, bro. They got you at war again. When we passed that stage, because that's where it came from. So how to get back down there? It was maneuvered, you know what I mean, to get back down. To me, the last the last of real rap coming from the street was Tupac and Biggie. That was like the world trace to falling down on hip hop. To me. To set way for this new rap. And don't get me wrong, I understand, like, you know, we should have recognized and cleaned up our act before they came in, then, you know what I mean? And that's all to it. But uh Your your advice basically is to be a nerd. If you wanna survive in this world, that's where the real money at, bro. That's where the real money at. Just like the rapper don't make more than the, the producer. The producer used to be the DJ. He's a producer now. Right? That's got to fucking be your DJ. I could go produce for this one, that one, that one, that one, this one. So the, so the producer, you feel me? You don't see him. You hear him, though. You feel him, though. That's the man. Try to be the one unseen that's controlling this show instead of being on stage the clown of this show. That's my advice. And we need lawyers. So be the lawyer. Do something. Be the creator, man. Guts, man. Like, it is, like certain people, you can see that they in it for the money and shit. So they, you ain't gonna win. But if I see the love, like you love this and you respect this, you gonna win, bro. You gonna win, bro. It's just like the game. It's the same shit. You give a nigga an eight. Cool. He come back, he want another age. Nah, you ain't going nowhere, bro. I ain't really fucking with you. Like, you come back, he want two. I'm gonna give you four. Now you want ten. Take the whole thing. We good. You understand? It's who you want to be. That's what I look for in people. If I see you, for crap, you wasting my time. You wasting our time. Bro. You feel me? You come with a song, that's how you come back with another one that's all right. Nah, dog, that should be, ooh, it should get, you know what I mean? It's Successively better. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. So people just do it for the money. When you do it for the money, it's not real. It's not real, bro. And, and to me, that's what made Marv style Marv style. We was just doing it. We ain't give a fuck. Nigga, this is real, man. Jump in my joint, start the dip. This was real. This was facts. We couldn't front. <laughs> to me, motherfuckers looking at us like, I think it's flying. This nigga, this is real. We was Floyd Mayweather back then. See how Floyd play? Floyd play hard. We play hard like that back then from, 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 us, from the streets, not from boxing and shit. Whatever the latest car, we had that. If it was coming, we already had it in order. When I first got the idea to write the film, 
I saw the youth wanting to be just like us in the hood. And um, they respected us and loved us so much that um, I knew a movie would be successful, but not just to be successful for money, but to help them see how we fell for the trap. And that's what I titled the movie, Trap. You understand? The power that be that took the film, they changed it to pay it in full. And um, the movie was a good movie, don't get me wrong. Everybody, the, the best cast, I respect Dave Dash for doing the film. And all the actors played played their role to the T. I I wouldn't have chose a better cast that was perfect. But at the end of the day, I just don't like what they did to my character at the end of the film to try to make it look like he was wearing a wire to set up Alpo. You understand? And that's the lie. And the reason that I come to see, the reason why they did that to my character so that it could look like I was a snitch in a film, but that never took place, that never happened. So when you hear this truth, this, the streets might not respect it because Ace was a snitch, but that was Ace. This is AZ, and this is real, fan. You feel what I'm saying? And that's the difference to me. That's the reason why, you know what I mean? It's like they try to destroy my character. It was like a, a good, but a, a bad way to the streets. And that's where I come from. That's who I am. But the streets know what really took place. So it, 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 it worked for, for people that don't know, but for the people that do. What do you see happening in the next 10, 20 years with the foresight that you may have uh, and, the, and the insight that you have from the past? I believe that, and this is real, flesh, flesh, have came to an end. It like it met its mandate with the heavens. The flesh of the world is ran by the dark side. It now with global warming is trying to raise everybody back to consciousness to come back into the light. So we gotta now live in spirit because the spirit cannot lie. Flesh is just lying and lying and trying to keep souls to try its best to stay alive. So anybody that's living in the flesh, you're basically working for Satan. And if you just push back your flesh and break forth your spirit, you can feel exactly what I'm saying. If the day, when you get up, you go to sleep at night and rise with the sun, you feel alive. And when the day dies, you begin to die. So God's law is coming back into effect. It is the resurrection. It's happening. God is reestablishing his establishment and he's getting rid of any, any establishment that's not obeying his law. That's what I see happening. And it's happening as we speak in many places all over the world. And it's time for you to, I don't care if your parent is not doing it, your brother's not doing it, your mother, you do it, you see it, and become one with it and save yourself. That's what I see. Your spiritual influences, we're going to get to, what are your musical influences? Who are your favorite musicians and, and, and groups? My favorite musicians, musicians, musically, I love Pearl Jam, because I feel the lead of him could see. We can hear it in his music. Peter Gabriel, definitely, could see. You hear it in his music, Phil Collins. Uh, Sinead O'Connor, all these people can see. So when you listen to the music, you're alive. And it's not dead music. Like, you know, this music just comes and goes. This shit, this party, this bug out. I mean, you could go party with that, but don't bring that shit to your house. You feel me? So it's like Marvin Gaye album. Let me try to use that. The What's Going On album. You love that album. Who don't? It's alive still. It still makes sense to this very day. Compared to any of this music that's been coming out, you put that on, it makes sense because it's the truth. This was done by God. You feel me? It's a, you can feel the difference of certain musics. Conscious music like Rakim. 
it still makes sense today. You understand that? So I'm just, it's like, so what? This music today is like, I got you don't. I'm fucking him, her, whoever, whatever. La, 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 la. I got money, you don't, you broke. That's not music, bro. You gonna always need a bodyguard with that type of music. Cause it's causing problems. Other music, ah, it's like fresh air and shit. Like, wow. You feel me? Yeah. Respect. I, I, I fully feel you, and you're right. It's not like this whole uh, um, depressed down music. Like not real, man. This shit don't have no content. It's, it's not backed by nothing. It's a lie. It's like a person saying, "Come this way," and pushing you off a cliff and shit. The other music gonna sit you down. Yeah, take some knees, some crackers, man. Relax. This shit here will kill you, bro. I heard they had did sometime. I think. Um, and somewhere they did something like in a botanical garden. You ever heard about that? Where they had two uh, flowers of a light. They had the music, some hardcore shit, loud, and some nice peaceful music playing. Two different flowers. When they came back less than 24 hours, this flower was dead and this one was alive and shit. Yeah, so the proof is there, man. You know what I mean? It's all right to listen to that shit, but leave it there. Don't take it on which you become. Now you crazy or shit. Self advice. I would tell my child to be a nerd. Try to make an app. Try to make a game. Cause the game is over. I would not give them no advice about the game. I would not want them to put it in their ears or eyes so that it could come out. So if you don't put it in them, it can't come out of them. It should not be on them. You, being honest, from my heart of hearts, and hearts of hearts, I don't understand how, you know, you know, gangster rap. No disrespect to it, because it do feed people. But at the end of the day, I don't see how people get awards for that type of shit. You know what I mean? It's not right. And if we can all agree to put wrong in the garbage, then maybe we can help fix what's right. You understand? You, you know, deep down inside, somewhere, if you still got a heart or a soul, you know it ain't right. But it was at that time. But, you know, time waits for no one and time kills. You feel me? Yesterday kills tomorrow. You understand what I'm saying? So if we keep hanging on to yesterday, we'd be murdered by tomorrow. Let it go, baby. Let it go. Let it go. But these cats be trying to be somebody who was trying to be somebody that was trying to be somebody. They never get a chance to meet themselves. Be themselves. You understand? So when you meet yourself, you know who you are. And that's why God said, I am. And Someone you have to become one with your I. Someone I said, you never get a chance to meet yourself, which becomes I am. And I am is God, one with the laws of nature. You feel me? And that's why God said, I am. You understand? And if you look at I am, to me, if you take the I off of I am, you get AM, and AM equals the morning time that goes back to being the sun. That's God. Um, back then, who I was, like I said earlier, I believe, I didn't meet someone that was getting it from someone. I met someone that was direct and shit. And, and I think from growing up in the cleanest, listening to what happened to this one, that one, that one, the older dudes, it made me say, mm, I'm going to do something a little different. I'm going to try to stay off the radar, be low, and make it happen. And make sure that everybody eat. Understand? That was my whole philosophy. Everybody eat. Nobody got no reason to be for nobody. Because if we all get money, it's all good. You know what I mean? So, and make sure the connect was paid. So, it's like... I had this energy bowl and shit. I don't know what you know that shit is. You go, eh. If you grab it, it stops. So if we don't claim it to me, it keeps feet. Mm, take some. Mm. You don't claim it. Once you grab it, say it's mine, that's when the game is over, fam. And I was in control of it. Connect, give it to me, throw it in the bowl. Yo, you take it, take it, take it. Yo, here, here's your money. 
You know what I mean? Let's let it. But when someone come in, yo, I'm the man. And you shoot the man that's controlling it all, which was me at that time. That was nasty, bro. And that's when it all started crumbling to us, bro. Because the connect, he giving it to me. He don't want to give it to me. Hey, yo, hey. They don't want to meet this one. He too wild. It's, hey, he got the whole aisle of like, and you know what I mean? So it's like knowing that, but not knowing that. It everything comes from from just being good, bro. Just being good, bro. It's more power to me and peace than in, in, in violence, man. And it's something divine that will protect you. There's no way I should be here, bro. There's no way I should be here right now on these cameras talking to you about this, bro. If it ain't God. I took two in the head, bro. Point blank range. My spirit left. I'm gone. I'm watching them shoot up the body. How am I still here? Come back, write a movie, the whole hood love, a book. Many documentaries trying to tell the same story, but people are not getting it because they're looking for the things that they fell in love with, which is the creations, the cars, the women, and fell out of love with the creator. That's what I'm trying to bring them back to. There's been tons of times where you went through crazy situations, like you got shot up. Every time you came out of those situations, like what, where was your head at when you came out of these situations? Like what? Uh, every time, bro, God, God, God would seem like he was just bringing me closer and closer to his inner standing. I had to inner stand this. And then once I started listening to my inside and not my outside, then I understood who was God. And then I try to avoid people from getting into those cycle circumstances that you can see now. If you don't do this, brother, this is what's gonna happen. So, you know, each situation, because I've been in a lot of situations, man. And the situations I didn't deserve to be in, I was just being good. Yeah. But what I realized was, we are in spiritual warfare. Flesh, you know, in our places, so, if the devil is after me, because God got a mission for me, he's going to jump in other bodies, and it's deeper than the game. Fuck the game. The devil, no, he's going to be somebody that's going to be able to tell on the devil and expose the devil. He's going to kill the devil. So if you're not in your God head and got on your God consciousness, he could take your body because he got you now, but he don't want you because you ain't nobody if he already got you, I'm after the one that we have to silence. And that's to me, these are the dudes that shot me. But they don't even know this. But I forgive them because they don't know. But it's, it's evidence now and it's proof now that it's real because it's connecting all the dots. You know what I mean? We were building on I can go to some places and be that to blow people's mind. But we'll be here, you know what I mean? We're gonna come back to <laughs> the that. end of time, but uh but but it's not just not just hold on, not just these dudes, but girls. I've been stabbed, I've been all type of shit right before. Be flipped over in the car. You know what I mean? But I see the devil jump in these people and do do these things. And I'll be like, yo, that shit wasn't you, but you ain't even hear me. Fuck you talking about God? Wow. So I gotta defend myself at all times, bro. It's deeper than what the average person can see. Streets of New York, Road to the Riches. You hear Rock Kemp, you know what I mean? Move the crowd, you know, uh, the microphone fiend. It, it made sense. Even the carriage ones. You know what I mean? And then the streets get real. Then you, you, then, you know, we came out with a whole numbers, like some gangsters, some get money, hustling shit, and 
our video wasn't we didn't put props in it. You came to hunt 30 second. That's what it was. Every day, all day. You get what I mean? So it wasn't really rap. We was just in the studio popping shit. Like, fuck it. You know what I mean? We wasn't trying to make money off him. We didn't know what it was. We was just saying, nigga. Without saying it, like, nigga, this is what we doing. Fuck out of here. My Adidas got out of here, nigga. Driving Benz. That was our way and shit. You know what I mean? No disrespect to them dudes. But... Marftel is not rap, man. It was, it was what it was. And it's still what it was back then. We're not trying to say we're doing it now. It had a time. It had its time. It eclipsed. You feel me? And, and, and that's why it can't be repeated. The cars and all that shit. You know, but Els was, he wasn't involved with, with this. He was more like, yo, I can't be around y'all niggas like that. Because it's not good for an image. And we respected that. I remember one day he was at the Apollo, and he was there. We came and sat. He was like, "Nah, man, come on, I gotta go. I gotta," because he couldn't be seen with us. So we respected that, and we didn't force him. You understand? So I guess he was keeping it with images and who he is today is who he became. You see what the fuck happened to us? So you know what I mean? So Elvis was around. You even had a lot of cats. Even uh, what's his name? Mr. Teddy Riley grew up around the hood. You know, oh, Ted even asked for some work at one time. I'm like, come on, dog, you got a hot song out there. Stay with that shit. Do that. Don't let me think about this shit. You need some paper? Here. But yo, we, we do you. You feel me? Teddy went on to make song for Michael Jackson. I thought. So it wasn't like, back then, nigga wasn't trying to pull you in. Yo, Elf, take this work. Yo, Teddy, work. You know what I mean? It wasn't about that dumb shit, man. We, we. We was more like, yo, if you need something, we got you. Don't, don't play with this. Yo, shorty, why you ain't in school? The fuck wrong with you? Why you do We wasn't like, yo, recruiting these young niggas. Like, yo, we wasn't moving like that, fam. What the block way across the street, man? Get back. What the fuck is wrong with you? Now they out here watching like they looking for a tennis match. Looking for the customer. So when one come, they all run to it. Now the police and all the fellas to unlock them up. Stay great now, bro. Rich was a, a magnetic... Person, huh? Yeah, Rich was the spirit. He was the the, 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 the straw that the straw the drink. And I think that this came from yeah, the Master Key system by Charles H. Haley, I think it is. Yeah, that book, man, made me realize the power of thought. Anything you think of, bad or good, you're gonna receive it. So that's why it says more power and seeking peace because it's greater than it's less so. The greater light, less of light. But the Master Key System is a book where a lot of people, you know, you learn that a lot of great, great, great powerful people use this book. So it's like the Bible considered to all these other religious books. You understand? And, uh, how I got the book, you know, after I had wrote my book, the day that it came out, a guy walked up on me. A guy I'd never seen before, a black, black guy, really dark skinned. Uh, he was like, yo, man, you should read this book. I said, why should I read this book? He said, just take it, man. I opened it, and like the first page, the little, a little piece, you know, the first little chapter was so powerful. I'm like, damn, the book is thick. And it made me say, this is interesting because it ain't something you just read. You can read a little piece, but then it opened up. So, like, wow, wow, wow. You know, knowing that thought controls your action. When the average person live off of action, it's the cause that makes the effect. It teaches you all of that stuff. And so, it made me go back into thinking, like, and it, it starts making you see, like, in Egypt, in those, in those times, Everybody went to the school of thought. And once you knew how to think, you, you can go on. They don't teach you how to think here. They teach you what they want you to think. And that's why everything is fucked up. But if everybody knew how to think, knowing that the relationship ain't with just you and your parents, the relationship is with you and God. And whatever you think about is what you're gonna create yourself to be. If I wanna be a gangster, I'm thinking it into existence. 
If I want to be one with God, you can. You feel me? So that book, it, it helps to frost a lot of the lies that we've been polarized under. So uh, I, I advise every man to read that book. Like a lot of cats that I know when they could get locked up, be like, yo, send me some money. Hey, I'll send him some money in that book. You know what I mean? And then they respect me like, yo, thanks for that book, man. So they'll be, they won't be doing time. <laughs> you understand? Because time don't exist, clocks do. So the question becomes, who's clocking you? You get it? And that book's teach you all that, bro. To free your mind from all of that. Relationships, all that, man. You, you understand why it's wrong. You, you just know like, okay, you don't love me, so stop pretending. You, you, you know what I mean? You know the lie. You know what I mean? Don't fall in love. That outstanding love with the truth. Now I know you love me. Because if you fall in love, you're going to get hurt. Become one with. Then we go. I mean, that book teach you that stuff. You see all these powerful people. You see how you, they, they confident in that book give you that. Because it's the truth. It's like, it's on you. You know, fuck what he say or she say. What I tell you to do. What the Lord, what the divine Lord told you to do. And that's what you follow. If you follow that, you're going to be all right. Bro. Fuck what they say. Ah, oh, you're going to eat my... Still here? <laughs> you understand? So... So tell me who organized the, the, the millionaire parties. Like, you didn't go to them. That was more like Rich and Pope, man. You know what I mean? Rich, our Pope birthday party. Uh, Rich and other cats in the hood, they, you know, niggas throw the party. But I, I really didn't participate. What I went to maybe one or two because Pope, yo, fuck that, man. Come on, man. You come to my birthday party. Fuck that. Hey, uh, took me downtown, bought me clothes. Him and Rich bought me the shoes to wear. Made sure I got a haircut. We coming to get you and shit. If I go, I'll be in there for 20 minutes and shit. Like, peeking for the door. I'm out, man. I don't want to be around that dumb shit. But they love it. You know, that's what it was. But it wasn't AZ. You feel me? Yeah, you yeah. Know, no cool. disrespect to it, but... Yeah. Um, I always looked at it like, y'all niggas going to jail because they're there. <laughs> Snapping it up with pictures and shit. Like, we doing something legit here and shit. All the police got to do is get to the camera, man. It's over, huh? That's how I always looked at it. So, you know. That's maybe why you see me in a few pictures and shit. And you always see me all regular. I you might know, have on the mix and uh, uh, that was they were. The only thing I used to like was spaceships. I kept a pretty car. I was in love with that. It was like a hobby, you know what I mean? Go to a car dealer, buy two cars, hook them up. You know what I mean? And that was just a hobby and shit. Turn that off. And, and the dark people, the cold people, the dark people are the only people that need the oil to run their world of machinery. Exactly. They, they, need, run it. We're not they need a refrigerator to keep everybody on ice. Yeah. So what makes the refrigerator yeah. run? Machinery is cold. When it's oil. not on, it's cold. Oil, you need yeah. to run it. Yeah. Where we come from, we don't need the oil to run it. We all we gotta do is be ass naked in the garden is eat fruits and vegetables. Eat mm -hmm. nothing that run from us or bleed or have eyes. We be at peace. You met a lot of the celebrities. And I want you to kind of tell me like the people you thought were like fascinating, some were hilarious, some of them were like, you could just tell they were speeding, you know. Being, being honest, bro, keeping it real, I didn't really like to go around none of that stuff. Because to me, where I came from, I, always, I can't trust nobody. You understand what I've been through, I, when I start fucking with the music shit, I just went there, did what I had to do, and get out of there. I don't want to party with you. I don't, I don't trust nobody, man. Because I don't know, you know what I mean? And I'm not trying to blame nobody, so I'm, I'm cool. Well, so I really I... can't judge a person for who they are. But whoever you show me you are, that's who you are to me. Exactly. You, you understand what I'm saying? But so... Even if you got on the mask, but you ain't, you ain't take the mask but... off around me, and so I'm going to respect you for who that is. But you were so smart because because this was the beginning there's all that stuff happening you must have 
at times driven by. Like, you know there's nights that you go, you take a ride by yourself. Of course, of course. And you drive by the clubs and you're just like, of it's course. going off in there. I could go in there. But I never, I swear, it never... I don't know, man. I don't like crowds and shit for yeah. some reason. I never like crowds because my mind become all crazy and shit. I can think, you know, from across the street and see the whole shit instead of being in there and being smothered in this shit. You feel me? Be in the world but not of the world. I don't know. That shit was just my nature, bro. I, I don't like crowds and shit. I'd rather deal with three people that could bring me $3 million than to deal with 90 people that's going to bring me $90 million. I'm not greedy and shit. You feel what I'm saying? Greed is what kills everything to me. So I'm good. What What are those like lessons? Like, if you were gonna write a lesson to your to your to your great grandchild, and you were gonna tell them, like, these are the things that I I have a bunch of them, but I'm not as as experienced as you. I'm not. What would you What would you say? Like, if you were gonna give yourself advice, I would tell my child to be a nerd. Try to make an app. Try to make a game. Because the game is over. I would not give them no advice about the game. I would not want them to put it in their ears or eyes so that it could come out. So if you don't put it in them, it can't come out of them. It should not be on them. You, being honest, from my heart of hearts, the hearts of hearts, I don't understand how, you know, you know, gangster rap, no disrespect to it. Because it do feed people. But at the end of the day, I don't see how people get awards for that type of shit. You know what I mean? It's not right. And if we can all agree to put wrong in the garbage, then maybe we can help fix what's right. You understand? We, you, you know, deep down inside, somewhere, if you still got a heart or a soul, you know it ain't right. But it was at that time. But... You know, time waits for no one, and time kills. You feel me? Yesterday kills tomorrow. You understand what I'm saying? So, if we keep hanging on to yesterday, we be being murdered by tomorrow. Let it go, bitch. Go. Let it go. But these cats be trying to be somebody who was trying to be somebody that was trying to be somebody. They never get a chance to meet themselves. And be themselves. You understand? So when you meet yourself, you know who you are. And that's why God said, I am. So you have to become one with your I am. Say that again. Hold on. Wait till this truck goes by. I am. And then you go in. And just, I, say, I am. I said, you never get a chance to meet yourself, which becomes I am. And I am is God. One with the laws of nature. You feel me? And that's why God said, I am. You understand? And if you look at I am, to me, if you take the I off of I am, you get AM, and AM equals the morning time that goes back to being the sun. It's God. You were saying some of these people out here are trying to be someone that's trying to be someone that's trying to be someone. Some would say that they're trying to be you and the younger you, and and the lifestyle that and, and the flashy things that you were able to obtain. Now, it sounds like you have a mindset that isn't the average hustler. So what what was your mind? Down music like it's not real no. man. This shit don't have no content. It's, it's not backed by nothing. It's a lie. It's like a person saying, come this way and pushing you off a cliff and shit. <laughs> the other music gonna sit you down. Yeah, take some knees, some crackers, man. Relax. This shit here it'll kill you, bro. I heard they had did sometime, I think in somewhere they did something like in a botanical garden. You ever heard about that? Where they had two uh, flowers of a light. They had the music, some hardcore shit, loud, and some nice peaceful music playing. Two different flowers. When they came back, less than 24 hours, this flower was dead and this one was alive and shit. Yeah, so the proof is there. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's all right to listen to that shit, but leave it there. Don't take it on with you and become it. Now you're crazy. So. Um, so, the Master Key uh, System book. Yeah, the Master Key System by Charles H. Haley, I think it is. Yeah, that book, man, made me realize the power of thought. Anything you think of, bad or good, you're going to 
receive it. So that's why it says more power in seeking peace because it's greater than it's less so. The greater light, less of light. But the master key system is a book where a lot of people, you know, you learn that a lot of great, great, great powerful people use this book. So it's like the Bible considered to all these other religious books. You understand? And uh, how I got the book, you know, after I had wrote my book, the day that it came out, a guy walked up on me. A guy I'd never seen before, a black, black guy, really dark skinned. Uh, he was like, yo, man, you should read this book. I said, why should I read this book? He said, just take it, man. I opened it. And like the first page, the little a little piece, you know, the first little chapter is so powerful. I'm like, damn, the book is thick. And it made me say, this is interesting because it ain't something you just read. You can read a little piece, but it, it opened up so, like, wow, wow, wow. You know, knowing that thought controls your action. When the average person live off of action, it's the cause that makes the effect. It teaches you all of that stuff. And so it made me go back into thinking, like, and it, it starts making you see, like, in Egypt, in those, in those times, everybody went to the school of thought. And once you knew how to think, you, you could go on. They don't teach you how to think here. They teach you what they want you to think. And that's why everything is fucked up. But if everybody knew how to think, knowing that, the relationship ain't with just you and your parent. The relationship is with you and God. And whatever you think about is what you're going to create yourself to be. If I want to be a gangster, I'm thinking it into existence. If I want to be one with God, you can, you feel me? So that book, it, it helps to frost a lot of the lies that we've been polarized under. So uh, I, I advise every man to read that book. Like a lot of cats that I know when they could get locked up, they're like, yo, send me some money, eh? I'll send them some money in that book. You know what I mean? And then they respect me like, yo, thanks for that book, man. So they'll be, they won't be doing time. <laughs> you understand? Because time don't exist, clocks do. So the question becomes, who's clocking you? You get it? And that book teach you all that, bro. To free your mind from all of that. Relationships, all that, man. You you understand why it's wrong. You you just know, like, okay, you don't love me, so stop pretending. You, you, you know what I mean? You know the lie. You know what I mean? Don't fall in love. That's standing love with the truth. Now I know you love me. Because if you fall in love, you're going to get hurt. Become one with. Then we go. I mean, that book teach you that stuff. You see all these powerful people. You see how you, they, they confident in that book give you that. Because it's the truth. It's like, it's on you. You know, what the fuck would he say or she say? What I tell you to do. What the, Lord, what the divine Lord told you to do. And that's what you follow. If you follow that, you're going to be all right, bro. Fuck what they say. Ah, oh, you call you whack. Still here? <laughs> you understand? So 